Hey guys, welcome back to Lost Your Recovery. Today I'm down at one of Sydney's local rock pools. I've just been speaking to a couple of locals down here. There was a firefighter, his name was Glenn, or the, no sorry, Gillian. His name was Gillian. Apparently Gillian, about two months ago, has lost his wedding ring and it was attached to a little dog tag as well, a little army tag or something like that. And he's lost it out there in the rock pool. The water in there is really clear too, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get in there now, give it a hunt guys, and see if we can find Julian's ring. And he is actually a local firefighter, so it's gonna be my pleasure to return this ring to him. If I do find it today, if we are lucky guys, if we do find it, I'm gonna take a trip there after the dive, down a local fire station, hopefully he's on duty, and if he is, we're gonna give him a nice big surprise. That's only if we find that ring. But I've got the search area too, guys, and the search area is, there's a pole right there, no bike riding, from that pole, and we're gonna go straight across to the other side of the pool. One straight line. You can see there's a lap swimmer there behind us, doing the lap swings. That's basically all he was doing, so it shouldn't be too hard. But then again, it's been a while since I've been in here. Who knows what kind of crap I'll be pulling out. There's gonna be a lot of junk more than likely. All right guys, let's gear up, get in the water. See you out there, cheers. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
for today. So I was out there looking for anything I could find and I heard Julian has actually lost his ring. Now I'm not too sure but I found a dog tag. And they did say Julian did actually lose a dog tag and also his gold ring. So it does say Julian, Kate, Anthony, May. And not even a meter away from that actual dog tag, I found this ring. It is inscribed. I'm really not too sure. And also the finger as well, it's pretty small. We'll find out. Those two, followed by, what do we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 dollars, 40 and change. And some foreign currency here. Call a golf ball. House key. And for the trash today, guys, got a fair bit out of these rock pools. Anywhere from, say, about 30 to 40 bits of rubbish. Alright, so that's the best finds for today. Julian and possibly his wedding band. Not too bad. I'm driving out to Julian's work to return his dog tag that I know it's his and the ring. I'm not too sure if the ring is his. It's described forever something I think it was. I think it was nine karat gold. If he's on shift today, we're going to give him a massive surprise, guys, because he actually counted this ring as written off. It's gone forever. But you know, guys, when it's in a rock pool, it's not going anywhere, and we are going to find it. He's a local firefighter. All local firefighters, police officers, ambulance, especially Sydney lifeguards, all ring recoveries, I don't charge. They're doing a community service. I do a community service. I like to help them when I can because they're out there helping us guys, it's only fair. Here we are now, I'm approaching it now. Now yeah, turn off the camera, we're gonna go into his work site, see if he's there. See you in a minute guys, cheers. <laughs> Hopefully he's on shift today. Hello. There you go. Before, I oh know it seems kind of weird. Is Julian in today? Julian. So Michael from Lost or Recovery. So when people lose stuff, they call me up and I uh, come down and locate it for them. So I, I run a YouTube channel, that's all it is. Uh, I've got some good news for him if he's in today. Yeah, yeah. yeah beautiful. All right, good news guys. Julian's in today. Great. Hopefully that's his. How are you, mate? Good. Oh, Julian, is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Julian, is it okay if I film? Oh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. no worries. Okay, so I was down at uh, La Perouse today, Malabar, sorry. And they were saying that you lost your dog tag. Yeah, 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 that's right, yeah. So that's got your name on it. I'm yeah. guessing that's yours. Yeah, it is, yeah. And one meter away from that was a ring. Yeah, yeah. I'm not too sure if that's your ring. Yeah, that's my wedding ring, mate. Yeah, it's got the Beautiful. forever, the date inside, 16th. 16th, yeah. The second, 96, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. And then there's your dog tag as well. No worries. Perfect. Oh, cool. Good on you, mate. So very You're quickly. No, no worries. How long ago did you actually lose? Oh, that's going on back about six weeks, I think. Six about or six eight weeks, weeks now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like two months. Yeah. All right, perfect. So that worked out well. Yeah, unreal. And um, all the locals as well, they all know you as well. That's yeah. how I actually found out about Julian. They oh, said, okay. oh, Julian's a top bloke. Oh, cool. Hopefully we get down there and find his ring. I was just like, yeah, sweet. Oh, good on you, mate. All good. Yeah, excellent. All right, no worries. So again, Thanks, cheers. Thanks, unreal. Yeah. yeah, sweet yeah. days. <laughs> So very quickly, just want to say thank you to my lab and all detectives as well. Yeah, mate. Thanks Helping for my lab medical yeah. med metal detectors. Metal detectors, that's it. <laughs> my lab metal detectors. Thanks a lot. The tongue tie. Cheers. <laughs> so that's what a uh, fireman helmet looks like. And the alarm just went off. That's no joke. So, Julian, Julian, you have to go now, do you? Yeah, mate. Yeah, you've got to get I out of here. I won't keep you. That's all right. I'll no see problems. you later. I'll better give you a hat back as well. Good on you. So, guys, that is not a drill. That is actually for real. So, he's got to go. How good is that guys? Uh, this is actually an old fireman's helmet and Julian's actually given me this. Fire! Fire! No worries ma'am. Job, official firefighter. <laughs>
what a success. So gone over there, we found Julian's ring just down, just down here behind me in the rock pool. Gone to the fire station, yo. Yeah. Met Julian in person. Julian, you're a character, mate. Like, he had no idea what we're doing, guys. He was just absolutely, he was a stunned fish, you know? It was just like, who's this guy? Coming into my uh, workplace, you know, with a GoPro camera, you know, asking for Julian. That's what I like to do as well, guys, you know? I, I like to make it funny, I like to make it interesting. I want to catch people off guard, you know what I mean? It's, you know, keeping it real. And another thing as well, I just want to say thank you, guys. Everyone, all my viewers, all my uh, subscribers, the more this channel builds up, you know, one year from now, five years from now, I don't know where it's going to lead to. I'm always upgrading my channel. I want to make it more interesting for you guys as well. I'm trying to capture all the different kinds of uh, camera angles I can get. I want to take every one of you guys with me on every adventure that I go with. You know, I, I get some recoveries. There, there's some doozies, guys, you know, for like celebrities, footballers, you know, athletes. These ones I'm unable to actually film and share with you guys. Yeah, they're in the public limelight. For them to lose a ring and then for me to post it on YouTube, I guess it's not really good for them. In the future, I will be pushing for that. So if I do get a celebrity or something like that, you know, as the channel grows and I do have a lot of subscribers and everything's positive on my channel, I'm sure I can talk them into that you guys view it as well. So again, I just want to say a big thank you. And a thank you to uh, Julian as well. This helmet's actually probably going to get me in a bit of trouble. A bit of arse in trouble. Actually, I'm taking you guys with me. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you on the next hunt.